Hello and welcome to another tutorial video here from Zanata Consulting. Uh, my name is Tyler Colt, and this video is actually going to be a quick little excerpt from our full Zoho Surveys product tutorial recorded in October of 2022. Um, in this little snippet, we're going to be running through the CRM integration for Zoho Surveys. Um, pretty big component if you are sending it out, so we do hope it's useful. Um, and if you do find this video useful for you, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. Um, and if you have any feedback or questions, uh, please leave those in the comment section below as well, as we do try to read and respond to every single one of those weekly on our podcast, The CRM Zen Show. Thanks and enjoy. Alrighty, here we are back on the same page. So again, under hub here, that's actually where we'll go to set up this integration. Um, so there's kind of two use cases to the integration to CRM. Um, there's the use case for sending it from CRM. And then there's also the use case for writing data back to CRM. And normally they're gonna kind of work in tandem. And so here, I'll go ahead and turn on our integration for this survey. We're going to choose a module that we want to send this out to. Now, because these are already customers, so let's go ahead and set them up to send to contacts. So now it's kind of defined what module we're going to need. Now, down here, an important thing to note is that um, every field that's required inside of the um, CRM is required in this integration, right? And so most of the time here when we're doing this, let's say we're going to update a record because we're always going to send this from CRM, right? Best practice, don't send from surveys, send from the relevant application, which in this case is CRM. And then we're gonna pre-populate survey answers with information from CRM. And there's an important step because what you'll do is come in here and essentially map first name, last name, and email at the very least so that the customer does not have to fill those in. Right. You give them the opportunity to review it, make sure that everything is correct. It gives them a reason, hey, if, if they want to update their last name or their email, they can. Um, but at the end of the day, we're going to pre-fill it because these things probably have not changed right? since uh, we entered them into our CRM. So I'm just kind of mapping these up right now. Now, you might find that um, you know maybe we don't have a field yet for our net promoter score, right? If we look through all of our different CRM fields, um, you can always go ahead and add those on the CRM side and get them mapped as well. Um, in this case, I'm gonna circle back and show you that in just a moment. But here, last little options around our CRM integration. Do we want to save the response as a PDF into the record? While this is not a bad thing to do, um, any of this data that you want to have on the contact level should be in fields. You should not have your team relying on the attached PDFs to access the data that you're capturing in the surveys. Two main reasons for that. One is that the file storage in attachments in CRM is limited and the upgrade price is not very competitive versus something like WorkDrive, Dropbox, Google Drive, any of those. Um, and then the second piece is that if the data only lives in that PDF, you can't create any searches, lists, segments and campaigns, really anything based on that data. Um, so we're always going to want to make sure that things that are highly relevant, we want to capture that directly into the CRM record. So I'll go ahead and save this integration for now here. And now let's actually take a little trip here into CRM and I'll show you what we would need to do if you do find that there are some additional fields that you'd like to map here um, onto your contact record. So I'll go ahead and open our page and we will jump into our settings up here in the top right and then into modules and fields. Getting a quick uh, CRM tutorial, right? Get the double for your money here, even though this is free. Um, so now we'll jump into contacts and into our standard layout. And now here is where we'll need to go ahead and set up our field, right? Where we actually wanna write this data to. 
Now, in this case, to be totally honest with you, I think that the data type of that NPS is going to match our pick list, but it is important to match the data type to what we're actually capturing in um, inside of surveys. So here, I'm just going to make a quick pick list, options 1 to 10, just so that it matches perfectly to what we have in surveys. And I'm just kind of flying down the list, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A little bit of lag on my screen here, but that's okay. We soldier on nonetheless. Goes, oops, yeah, this is scrolling all over the place on me. Seven, eight, nine, and then last but not least, we'll do 10. Now with these drop downs, some of you might know that you don't actually have to all have all the options match. It'll still write to the field, but it's always a good practice to make sure you have an option for everything once you get into actually doing your filtering later. So I'm going to go ahead and save and close that. And now back here on the surveys side, if I refresh our integrations page, we'll now actually be able to map that field as long as I had set up the um, proper data type for capturing the NPS data. So now on this side, we'll see that we've got a new field for NPS. This can be searched. They show up pretty quick. Um, you know, you'll, you'll always have to refresh it. If it doesn't show up right away, just give it a moment. It should pop through uh, in not too long. And then here we'll see, looks like Zoho is happy with us. It's going to let us map this field over. Um, one little thing you can do when you're setting up a pick list to pick list map, and this is unique to surveys. You can't do this in forms, but it's actually really helpful when you need it. Most of the time you don't, but when you do need it, it's pretty great. Um, you can actually set up an options map. So within here, I can say that, um, you know, if you don't set this up, it's just going to pass the values. But maybe you had, you know, 0 through 10 on the um, survey. But within Zoho CRM, you want to group those into like verbs, right? Like not happy, happy, very happy, right? You can actually kind of remap those options right? So that you're able to set up the actual fields that you want them to map to and the values. So even if they don't match perfectly, you're still able to get the data in the format that you need back into CRM. And so, right, we can run through and map all of these. I'm going to skip that for now. You've seen me type one to 10 enough times, I think, for one session. So we'll go ahead and exit out of that. But I do like to highlight it because it is unique versus Zoho Forms. Zoho Forms cannot do that. Um, if you wanted to do that with Forms, you would need to run it through Zoho Flow, write a little function that basically remaps those values to the ones that you want in CRM. Um, so again, it's just those couple of little odds and ends that make surveys and forms different. And you know, we definitely know it's it can be hard to kind of keep track of those. And so now on this side, I've saved my survey, right? I've got it all set up. Next thing that I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and launch it. Now, there's kind of two steps to launching it. Honestly, this launch and publishing, it doesn't really do much. It kind of just gives it its real URL, but it doesn't mean that it's been sent to anybody. So I'm going to launch it on this side. It's kind of getting my survey ready. Now, there's a couple things you can do here. We'll circle back to that in a moment because I really want to focus on finalizing our CRM integration. So now that this has been launched, we're going to jump over to CRM. I'm going to go to settings in the top right. And first, I'm just going to make sure that surveys is integrated into CRM, right? And so it should be, right? Because we've got it connected on the survey side. But once in a blue moon, you'll still have to come in here and connect the dots on the CRM side of the house. Looks like in this case, we're good to go. Zoho Surveys says manage, which is what we want. Set up now would mean it's not connected. I'll go ahead and open this up on the CRM side just so you can take a look. Really, it's nothing too crazy. You're basically just connecting to a specific department, figuring out who should be able to have access to this data from the integration, and then which modules you may have surveys that you want to send um, through CRM. Really, there's no harm to just selecting all of these. If you don't have a survey integrated to that module, like we have this one pointed to contacts, then you just won't be able to send a survey to them. There's really no harm in turning them on. It just would make it so that if later you wanted to make a vendor survey, you don't have to come back into these integration settings and monkey around with it. 
So the last step that we need to do to get this ready to send from CRM is actually set it up as an email template. So here I'm going to go into our templates. I'm going to keep this one super simple, but you can do a really pretty template if you'd like. Um, I am just not a designer at heart, so I will keep it simple and save you the, uh, the pain of watching me try to make something look pretty. Um, so here, very important, as you know from CRM, to select the right module that you're going to send from. So in this case, we're going to send from contacts. I'm going to go next. Um, again, you could do this same thing in any of these big, pretty, you know, UIs here um, with the kind of pre-baked, you know, drop in an image, two columns, buttons. Um, that being said, you know, uh, get sprinkling in some extra little CRM webinar tidbits here. Um, we generally like to send things as HTML or plain text, mostly just because it makes them look like a personally typed email and not like something that came out of a uh, marketing platform. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert our or create our plain text template. Of course, right, we go crazy here. We set up all of our content, right? We pull in all of our merge tags from the contact and all that good stuff, give it a subject line. But really here, the main thing that I wanna show you guys is how to actually get the survey ready to be sent through this template because there is a right way to do it and you should always do it this way. So when you have the survey integration turned on for CRM, you'll see this little survey link button here. If this isn't here, it's because you don't have it turned on or you don't have it turned on for this module. So just jump back into the CRM settings, go under Zoho and uh, you know turn on that integration. But here I can grab my survey link. It'll ask me which survey I want to send. We can check and see, you know, this URL looks good. Everything's pulled in. And then our text to display, let's say, please click here to access the survey. Look at that, no typos in that one, onward and upward. So now we have our please click here to access the survey. I'm gonna go ahead and insert this link. And now I have a link that I can drop right into this email that will direct them straight to their copy of the survey, right? So on this side, right, we've got this update record and this pre-populate survey answers, right? We're not using any URL parameters. And the reason for that is because we don't have to. When they open up that survey, it's actually gonna search the CRM. It knows who they are. It's gonna pull that data right in for them. And then once the survey is submitted, it's actually gonna write that data right back to the record. Um, for the nerds in the room, it's basically hiding a uh, you know record ID, a CRM record ID in the template um, so that it can always write everything back. Um, the nice thing about that, again, let's say you're using a survey to allow them to update their contact information, right? Well, a really common way of correlating a form or survey submission back to a contact would be with an email. But if we're gonna allow them to change their email in this form, it would never find its way back to that contact unless we sent it through this path. So this is always how you wanna be doing your survey sends if you're going from CRM, just because it gives you that ability to write everything right back to the CRM and have it match up every single time. Um, and from there, I mean, you're really pretty much good to go. You would send this out as a survey. They can go through and fill it out. It's going to write all that data directly back to the CRM record, and you can use it on a go forward basis as you need it.